What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. And today's video, we're going to talk about Isaiah Thomas one more time. I promise I'm not going to inundate y'all with a ton of Isaiah Thomas videos, but this is important. And I was like, bro, I got this. I got to talk about this. Isaiah Thomas might be the first NBA player to have played with both Lonzo and LaMelo Ball. I don't know how I forgot about it, but let's get into it. AB the Hero, back at it, baby. First things first, appreciate y'all slamming the like button. Let's get out of there. All right. Now, many moons ago, Isaiah Thomas was a Boston Celtic, right? Boston Celtics and the Cleveland Cavaliers made a trade. They swapped out. Kyrie went that way. Um, Isaiah came to Cleveland. It was over there with Cleveland when they had a, a, a random ass team. Isaiah spent a little time there. Bam, one day they shipped him out over to Los Angeles. All right. Um, this is back when, and this clip is sad because of this, bro. If, if you, if you, if you a Laker fan or you a Zoe fan, you, you really might tear up watching this clip because you see these dudes in the background and you see Zoe, Kuz, um, uh, Lopez, this Randall, this Laker team would be a dynasty right now. These would be some bad boys, even if. If, if they just would have threw LeBron in this mix, it oh my God. When you I'm talking about it, it's just sad. But what makes this interesting is we get to hear Isaiah Thomas's take on um that Laker team, Lonzo Ball, and his role as the vet leaders. And, and you get to see if you follow the channel, you saw us do a reaction and talk about the video um, I, when Isaiah came to Charlotte and how he is, um, you know, going to work with LaMelo and what he sees from that game. The, after the post, you see all of these different clips and you see the similarities and you see the synergy and it's very interesting. So I want to play this for you. all We'll talk about it a little bit, but I'm going to let Isaiah do his thing for the most part and then because I really want y'all to get into this clip. All right, so let's do this. Let me set it off. All right, bam. All right, let's go. Boom. What did Luke tell you about what your role will be with this team and um, maybe how long you might be coming off the bench? Um, right now, I mean, they've been playing well. This is the best they've been playing, so I don't, I don't want to mess anything up. And I told him that, so I'm... Whatever he needs me to do, I'm, I'm willing to do. Yes, I would love to be a starter. I feel like I deserve that and earn that. But at the same time, I'm, it's a new chapter for me. I'm here to help this team, help these young guys, and continue to be professional, continue to work hard, and continue to gel together. So I'm I'm not too worried about that. The basketball things always work out itself if, you, if you're all in it for the team and you control what you can, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going I'm to bring scoring and, and, and playmaking to this team. And, and I'm going to do what I can to help. Hey, whoever, I did not put this, the slow music behind here, but it is this helps make it sad. You see the young Lakers back there. <laughs> but you see him at this point in his career, taking that veteran leadership role and all of that stuff as well. Let's listen. Let's. Your agent was pretty vocal early on about not wanting you to come off the bench. Did you share those thoughts initially? Did you, were you, what was your mentality right when the trade happened? Uh, my mentality is just to help this team in whatever, whatever role I'm in. Um, like I said, yes, I would love to be a starter, but I'm on a new team that's, that's playing very well right now, and I don't want to mess any of that up. Um, I, I fit in where I fit in, and, and when my name's called, I'm going to take advantage of my opportunity. That's, that's all I'm worried about right now, and, and, and getting wins for this organization, getting it back to where it was to be a mentor for Lonzo. Do you, how do you feel about taking that role? I mean, that's fine. I've been in the league six more years than he has. So, I mean, that's... It, she's pretty light, but her first question was um, about his agent saying that he should be a starter for the Lakers. And then this question is about specifically... Um, him playing with Lonzo and and being a mentor, right? So that's the coach. He she says the coach said brought you in here to be a mentor for Lonzo. What do you think? And that's then that's all I'm worried about right now and, and, and getting wins. How do you feel about taking that? I mean, that's fine. I've been in the league six more years than he has, so I mean, that's obviously I'm gonna help him out. I mean, we're we're part of the same team. He's a special young player, and and he's gonna be he's gonna be incredible talent in this in this in this league for years to come. So. 
I mean, I, my job is to help where I can. Um, Caruso. I'm my prime, so it's not like I'm taking a back seat to anybody. I'm, I'm here to be who I am, and I'm here to, to, to make a difference on this team, and, and I'm excited about the opportunity. Do you see you guys being able to play together? For sure. I mean, you see any any type of guards these days play together. I mean, he's a he's a guy that, that, that can make plays, and, and I'm a guy that make, can make plays as well. And, and I've been in similar backcourts I mean, with, with, with Avery Bradley, with Marcus Smart, with other guards that, 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 that bring different dimensions to the game. So I'm, I'm excited about being able to compete, being able to play play with with um, all these young guys. And, and I'm just ready to go out there and play and have fun again. How, uh, how are you doing health-wise? What'd you say? How are you doing? Mm, all right, so we go into our Body Language Don't Lie segment. This man that heard everything that there is to hear. She asked him one question about his health, and he's got, huh? What? What? what what'd you say? I'm doing good. I mean, I'm getting back to where I, where, where I want to be. Um, my body feels good, and it's a new start for me. So. All right, so um, that's interesting, right? That's super interesting because you're looking at Isaiah Thomas, who is damn near in a similar situation right now, right? He goes to that team. Um, Lonzo is the point guard, the playmaker, and, 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 and controls the ball. And they're asking him, yo, we need you to be a veteran leader for this guy, you know? And he's like, yo, I can't, I've been in the league forever. I, I can, I can, I can teach, I can do that stuff, right? Um, and so he's taking on that role. Also, so we see the same thing with L LaMelo, right? I think the difference is at, at the time where LaMelo's in the league, it's so much more like Isaiah's just the mentor guy, right? Uh, but you see the, the respect and all of that stuff. Now, I got this clip here for you that you can watch, and it is after their, I think it was their first game together where Zoe goes off, and then Isaiah Thomas gives his initial reaction to um, Lonzo after the first game. Check this clip out too, and then we'll come back and talk about this stuff later.